Hello everyone, this is Strato Ayane from Craftius.com and today I am back with an awesome tutorial regarding portraits, exposure 7x alien skin, retro stuff and I'm going to show you how to combine all this in order to create an amazing retro photo. Now, I'm going to show you step by step all the process, I'm going to show you what I'm using and I'm going to take you through the whole procedure of taking an ordinary photo and creating an awesome retro black and white portrait. Plus, I have a few tips and tricks at the end, so stay tuned and without any further delay, let's dive into Photoshop where I'm going to show you how to do small miracles. Let's do this! So, here we are in Photoshop and I am about to start the procedure of turning this very interesting photo of a violin player which was taken about uh, one and a half month ago, if I remember well, under, the, under a very specific project where I take musicians and throw them out of the ordinary sterilized uh, music scenes that uh, we usually see them. And uh, I like to photograph these people under strange circumstances, I'm sorry, and into urban environments in order to create a contrast between the classic and the sterilized uh, opinions that exist about uh, classical music and uh, the urban environment which is uh, something open, something free, something that anyone can enjoy and participate uh, into. So, yeah, this is the somehow philosophical, let's say, thought behind the whole project, but you are not here for philosophical thoughts, you are here in order to learn how to create awesome stuff with Exposure 7 Photoshop, and this is what I'm going to show you right now. So, let's start, first of all, by going to the uh, filter menu over here and by selecting Alien Skin Exposure 7. Now, the first thing that I want to do is to make this photo black and white, but not simply black and white, I'm going to create a, a black and white photo by using a very specific uh, black and white preset. So I'm going to the black and white section over here, I'm going to hit the search button and I'm going to type in Kodak T Max and I'm looking for the Kodak T Max 400 uh, preset. So let me take a second and find this preset. Of course, as you're browsing through the presets, you might find something that you like better and fits better uh, with your photo. So feel free to choose whatever preset you like. Now, I'm going to select the Kodak T-Max 400, as you can see here, but I'm going to customize it just a little bit by deactivating the grain because I don't want to have any grain in the photo so far. And I'm going also to the tone curve and I'm going to take this small node over here and raise it just a little bit as well as this one in order to fade out the colors a little more. Again, this is just for personal taste uh, satisfaction so you can move these things around until you have something satisfactory for yourself. I'm going to hit the apply button and Exposure is going to do its magic. Now, another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to apply on the already black and white photo another black and white filter from Exposure 7. So again, I'm going to alias in Exposure 7, I'm staying at the black and white preset section, I'm going to hit search and I'm looking for the Ilford XP2 Super 400, which is this one. Now, as you can see, this will create a little more contrast. This is before and after, before and after. But it will also retain some faded areas around the photo. Of course, you can also play with the intensity of this filter, but I prefer to use it for the time being at the 100% percent, percent, oh my god, at the 100% uh, strength. So I'm going to hit apply once more and I'm going to get this result over here. Step number three, I'm going to throw a texture on top of the photo, but in order to do so, I'm going to create a new layer by clicking here, and I'm going to choose black color as my background color and hit Control delete on the keyboard in order to fill it with black. Now, why I'm filling this layer with black? Because Alien Skin Exposure 7 needs a solid filled layer in order to create its magic things. So, I'm going to use this black layer and I'm going to hit the revert button in order to zero every single option over here. And I'm going to the overlays panel, I'm going to activate the texture section and I'm going to 
the Fundy finish area. Now, from here I'm going to select the black and white, uh, let's try, uh, let's try, give me a second to review them. Okay, I think I'm going to go with the Fundy finish number 7, which is already black and white, so I'm going to increase its opacity to 100%. And I'm going to take this protect area over here, which creates this ugly black hole, and I'm going to zero this thing down. I'm going to hit apply, and Alien Skin is going to create a new layer with the texture that you saw before. Next step is deactivate the black layer, which is no longer needed anymore, and go to the Exposure 7 uh, newly created texture layer, and turn it into a screen thing which will give you this faded effect or you can go to the multiply which will give you this kind of stuff or you can go to the soft light you can go to the overlay you can go to the hard light which for this kind of photo I think it's the best options because hard light gives you this very interesting vignetting around the photo and it gives a lot of texture as you can see this before and after before and after just look at this beautiful texture all around the uh, white or bright areas within the photo now if you need this texture to be a little more discreet so you can go to the opacity layer over here and just dial it down so this will dial down the effect of the texture Another thing that I want to do is I'm going here to the adjustment layer, I'm going to select a curves adjustment layer and I'm going to take this control point, I'm going to drag it upwards just a little bit in order to create this faded effect and I'm going to click here to create a new control point and I'm going to drag it downwards just a little bit in order to bring back some faded contrast Looks awesome so far but it's going to get better believe me now, another thing that I want to do is I want to add more depth to the photo, so I'm going to throw a texture on top of everything else. So I'm going to reactivate the black and white layer, I'm going to take it and I'm going to drag it above all the other layers except for the curves adjustment layer which gives this faded effect. And I'm going to hit filter, I'm going to the alien skin exposure 7 again. I'm going to select this time from the texture options over here the scratches panel and I'm going with scratches number 9 again I'm going to crank up the opacity to 100% I'm going to keep the protect area to 0 and I'm going to hit of course apply now I'm waiting for the effect to render, I'm going to deactivate by clicking in the eye over here the black and white layer and I'm going to the screen option over here. So as you can see the screen option creates this very beautiful uh, distressed photo with a lot of texture and a lot of depth. You can see these diagonal lines over here which are almost like some very interesting rays of light that are coming through the photo and it creates this very 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 interesting feeling regarding this uh, photo now some extra tips and tricks that i'm going to be using i'm going to hit alt control shift and e so i'm going to take all the layers and i'm going to merge them into one now as you can see here because it uses uh, during the merge also the faded effect curves adjustment layer you get a lot more fade but if you don't want as much fade uh, you can deactivate the faded effect curves adjustment layer because it is already incorporated into this layer that we just created by hitting alt control shift and e so we have a faded photo we have all the effects and the fade effect as well must up into a single layer what we are going to do next, I'm going to the filter menu and I'm going Alien Skin Exposure 7 once more and I'm going to add some uh, nice bokeh. I'm going to hit revert over here to zero on everything. I'm going to the bokeh panel down here. I'm going to select this radial shape bokeh and if you see that there are two control points, one here and one here, just delete one of them. You only need one uh, to do your thing. 
and I'm going to increase the amount to let's say 50 percent now if it is too strong you have two options option number one you can grab this outer circle and drag it all the way out in order to fade the effect and make the graduation of the effect from the edge from the blurry edge actually to the clean center a lot better and a lot smoother and you can also increase this circle over here in order to get the effect that you want actually I'm going to keep it small and tight and I'm going to move it around just a little bit to create this very nice bokelicious effect now if this is still too much you can of course go to the amount and dial it down for example I'm going to use something at around 9% this before and after, before and after and as you can see this effect uh, is applied also to the dust and scratches layer which creates a very dreamlike scenario I'm going to hit apply and I'm going to get this effect uh, back into my Photoshop uh, environment and file as well now as this effect renders I'm going to also uh, going ah, nope it was too fast I'm not going to do anything actually I'm going to keep going and now the, that the effect has been rendered I'm going to the exposure 7 again panel I'm also going now to try a few tricks trick number one I'm going to revert everything I'm going to the black and white section again and I'm going to select the vintage uh, presets now from here what you can do you can create some very interesting complementary effects effect number one you can go all the way down here and you can find this daguerreotype damaged which looks simply amazingly well built uh, it uh, blends very interestingly uh, with the photo that we have created so far the border looks simply amazing I like it a lot especially with the theme that we created and uh, this is what I would suggest to try you can also go to the daguerreotype which is a simple one, not the damaged one which also create a very nice borderless effect also you can try to go to the sepia uh, daguerreotype because it gives this very nice sepia color to uh, an otherwise black and white photo and if you don't like this color uh, because it's too strong you can go to the overall intensity of the filter and dial it down let's say to 40 to 45 percent another thing that I liked very much from this preset area over here is the wet plate preset which creates also a very interesting effect as you can see here wet plate damaged also looks very interesting for this kind of stuff and also you can try and play with the black and white focus thing because uh, it creates some very dreamlike effect with glows, with soft glows actually which can be really effective with this kind of photography now if you find the effects too strong you can also go to the focus panel over here or to the IR panel over here and play with the settings in order to create something similar uh, that is uh, close to your taste for example if you want a, a lot more blur you can go here and you can select glamour shot medium you get something like this you can uh, sharpen if you want more if you don't like this effect etc 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 now what I'm going to do I'm go is I'm going to select a preset from here from the vintage settings and I'm going to customize it just a little bit so I'm looking for this uh, Dangerio type stuff okay this is the photo and this is the preset that I like what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit apply I'm going to wait just a little bit for the effect to be applied on my photo and now I can either go to the filter manually and skin exposure 7 and select a retro effect which will give some color to my photo for example I can select uh, this one if you don't like the border you can always customize it you go to the overlay section check on the borders here to uncheck it and go to the overall intensity and play around to get the effect that you want now if you don't want to use Alien Skin Exposure 7 you can discard these changes and you can finally go here and select either a color balance adjustment layer and you can play around like this 
with slight movements you can get very interesting results as you can see here or you can also go if you want to create a give me a photo filter adjustment layer which will allow you to select the color or the type of the filter let's say for example you get to cooling which will make everything more blue or warming filter which will make everything a little more yellow and you can also play with the density of this color as well uh, you can play for hours and hours if you want you can reactivate the faded effect from the curves adjustment layer that we deactivated a few moments ago you can also go here you can go to the curves adjustment layer once more click in the middle drag down and to the right to create a vignetting next go to the mask of this layer select the elliptical marquee tool draw around the selection that you want to stay uh, light hit ctrl i double click here and go to the feather option and drag it around in order to create a vignette effect play with the opacity you are going to get less vignetting or more vignetting and you are limitless actually uh, a lot of things can happen all you have to do is devote some time devote some love put uh, some interesting music and stick to the photo for one or one and a half hour by playing with the option from exposure skin 7 and adjustment layers within photoshop i'm very sure that you are going to create some very interesting results and i would really love to see your photos and why not publish them here at craftuse.com so if you found this tutorial interesting if you have some interesting photos that you processed please send them over at info at and we would be more than happy to uh, promote and display them now if you want to find out more uh, about alien skin exposure 7 go here you can uh, find all uh, the plugins and you can find the exposure 7 here and until 26 they have an awesome and kick ass sale with 40 percent off on everything so you get for a dirty cheap price the exposure 7 that you saw me using in this video you can also uh, download the trial and play for yourself and also you can find these guys at the alien skin exposure user group on facebook you can go there participate with their monthly assignments and showcase your work as well and no, I'm not getting paid by these guys, but I love their uh, product so much that I love making tutorials and playing with the settings and uh, the creative options that they give me. Now, okay, this was supposed to be a very small and sweet tutorial, but it took longer than I expected, but I hope it was equally uh, useful for you. If you want to find out more tutorials about Photoshop, Lightroom, and photography in general you can go at craftuse.com where we have a lot of tutorials for free also follow us on uh, youtube subscribe to our channel you can find us on twitter you can find us everywhere on the internet and if you have any questions if you have any suggestions please shoot it in the comments below i would be more than happy to read them and reply and answer to your questions now that's it for today i'm going to wrap it up thank you again for your time i really appreciate it please share this tutorial give it a thumbs up if you liked it it means the world to us over here at craftius and until next time happy photo shooting stratos ayani signing out ciao